Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little ABS project going on, and uh, what it is, this is a cap for a steering column that sits on the top of the steering column so that the quick disconnect hub can be installed on the steering column without you seeing all the guts inside the column. So this part right here is where the commentator, the horn commentator sits in. And then this little step sits inside the actual column and this sits on top. So the reason I'm doing another one is this little counter bore here is about 15 thousandths too thick. So I'm going to make another one with this slightly thinner. And I want to show you guys this process. So today we're using the Carbide 3D one flute quarter inch end mill. We're going to be turning it about 12, 15, 12 to 15 thousand RPM. Cutting feed rate will be 100 inches a minute. Um, the the lead in or the yeah the lead in feed rate will probably be about 60 inches a minute, 60 to 80. So anyhow, let me get everything set up and we'll get you on the tripod and we'll cut some ABS. So I want to show you the setup. So we got double stick tape. And uh, I'm going to stick this down to the table. Doing it one handed here. There we go, and we'll stick it right here, it'll be fine. There we go. It's not going anywhere. And this is the uh, double stick tape. We'll actually peel it back. And then the touch probe, we'll stick it down to here. So now that'll set our onion skin for when this cuts all the way through.
that so I vacuumed the table off. I just wanted to show you with the tool setter how we got the little onion skin deal there. Well, I actually didn't onion skin it. We cut all the way through and it did not even cut the double stick tape. So that's really good. So the double stick tape will gum up the bit. There's just a little bit on here. Well, for the most part, when you get your tool setter set just right, that's what will happen. So I'll peel this off there, cut the little sharp edge off, and we'll be good to go. I've got to cut another one uh, without the step, so I'm going to leave the setup here. Okay, guys, here we go. We have our two step rings done. Now we're going to make a little donut, which is a spacer just like this without the step and without the counterboard. Hopefully we don't get to see a crashed machine here, but the Z has been set with the tool setter. The G-code is loaded. Let's do our safe Z setup. At one inch, just for the heck of it. Now on the first video you saw there was a weird transition when the tool was actually ramping in. It paused for a second and took off. It should not have done that. I think I might have fixed it. So we're going to see how this happens. This will be two contour cuts, one on the inside, one on the outside. It's going to ramp in at a two degree. We're cutting 12,000 RPM, 100 inches a minute, 80 inches a minute uh, will be our lead in. So here we go. I'm pretty sure that I could actually cut a little more aggressive than that. Um, that was cutting 40 thou at a time down. I bet I could almost cut that in one pass. I don't know how aggressive it would be with the one flute. But I mean it cut perfect. Didn't, I mean it barely did cut into the double stick tape. I'm going to call it a success. I don't think I can get that one off of there. I have to razor blade that one off. But anyway, so uh, let me clean the table off and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're done with the project. So what I have here is the thickness of this step is larger than this one. So this is the final product. And this is a an insert for the same steering column. So I wanted to show you guys it's kind of a simple deal. You could do the same thing with a couple of hole saws. It's just more fun to do on the CNC. But the real purpose of the video, I guess, is to show you the um, setting your Z0 on, of the table. When I got this expensive top here, you can see where I drilled into it one time. And that broke my heart because I didn't want to mess it up. So I've been scared to actually do this method. But it seems to work out fine as long as you set your Z0 heights correctly. I would not try it with a piece of paper. I just wanted to do the tool height setter. And it is here. So this is just a cheap eBay buy. And uh, clamp this to your, to your bit. It comes down. You measure the height of this. You set it in Mach 3. To tell it that once it touches here that this is the height of Z off of the bottom. So I actually set this on top of a piece of double stick tape 
so that when the bit thinks it's at Z0, it's actually just grazing the top of the tape. And you can see how it just grazed the top and did not cut through the tape. That's what you want. If you actually cut through the tape, you'll start gumming up the bit. Then your cut quality will suffer. So anyway, so that's the end of the video. If you like what you see, then uh, hit the little subscribe button down here and uh, share this video with anyone that uh, has a 6040 CNC. I'll try to do more videos on these things. It's a neat little machine. It takes a little TLC, but with a little work, they cut great. Thanks for watching.